Uh, hello, my friends. Welcome to Sports Final. I'm Chris Porter. Thanks for staying up late with me tonight. We've got a jam-packed and exciting show, and we begin with the NFL Draft. The Jaguars got their man in Trayvon Walker with the first overall pick, and they also made a couple of money moves. Joining me now to discuss the draft and also grade out the uh, Jags 2022 draft class is First Coast Sports Analyst, a.k.a. the Bumblebee, James Coleman in the house. Not the Bumblebee tonight. He's pulled out the green, looking like money. I like it. James, tonight, I not, not only want you to give your thoughts on the picks, but to grade the picks. And in that first round, the Jags picked up two people, Trayvon Walker, and then they traded up to get Devin Lloyd. Um, I really like um, Trayvon Walker as a player. Um, I thought it might have been a little bit of a reach at the number one overall pick, but he is really, really dynamic player. He can set the edge. He's athletic. He's somebody that can grow into a pass rusher. And if they feel in the next year or two he's going to be able to give you 10 sacks a season, then, then it was well worth it. Um, Devin Lloyd was probably the most dynamic linebacker in this draft. Um, just to be able to trade up and be able to get him for that kind of value, what you've got is a defensive end who could potentially uh, be a starter in the league for some years and, and, and Walker and then you've got a linebacker who could be a, a second contract guy as well which is something that the Jags haven't had in, in quite some time um, I like both of those picks I like Lloyd a lot better than I like uh, Walker where they got him for the value though and what's the grade um, for the first round overall or each first first, first round, round overall, overall to give him an A minus A minus yeah. what you got against Walker we'll talk about it another time <laughs> all right so trading up into that first round would end up costing the Jaguars a second fourth and sixth round pick so they did not pick into the third round so like the Kentucky center Luke Fortner and linebacker Chad Muma. What do you think about Fortner? Um, I think that's a really Fortner's good. You saw um, clips of, or talks of him blocking Josh Allen in college. Um, is very um, he went up against your boy Jordan Davis. Um, <laughs> did not back down. Um, a really good pick right there. And some again, um, you get an interior lineman um, in, a, in the mid mid rounds. That's something that can definitely build your trenches and build your um, franchise in the in the future. Um, and, and getting a linebacker from Wyoming again, a, another guy that was highly talked about. Um, crazy athletic. Uh, you know, hopefully he'll break that Wyoming. Um, curse that we have here for guys from there that played here, but I think he's going to be a good a good cog to be able to put into that defense. And again, somebody I think that in a few years you'll will we'll be happy about that. What's the grade? Uh, for both of those, I, for, for third round picks, those guys, that's home run. I'm getting that A. All right. Out uh, of the fifth round, the Jaguars had to trade trade it up, getting the running back out of Ole Miss, Snoop Connor. What you think about him? Quickly. Um, he's a running back. He's okay. We're going to be all right. We needed a running back considering James Robinson and uh, Travis Etienne are both in, coming off serious injuries. What do you give him the grade with the running back there? Um, right there, I'll, I'll give that a, a B, but it's not much you could have really done. All right. Finally, sixth and seventh round, they went cornerback. Your thoughts on them uh, adding to that secondary? Oh, man, that quarterback from, like, what, we out here Baptist Church or something <laughs> like that? I have no <laughs> idea where that is. I know the school's got, like, the city's got 10,000 people in it, but, you know, these are guys that if they make it, they'll be great stories. Um, it's good to be able to hear your name called um, when it comes to the NFL draft to get a cup of coffee. There's only, up until this year, there's only 30,000 people who've ever gotten that opportunity. So congratulations to all those guys. But that's me basically saying I'm not going to pretend to be that good of an analyst and know about those two guys. So overall, <laughs> what are you giving our Jacksonville Jaguars uh, overall draft class grade? What is it? Overall, I'm going to give it a B plus, and I'm a hard grade, but it's really They've got, they improved, but it's still some things that I would have really liked to have seen them get. I would have really liked to have seen a, a dynamic alpha wide receiver. I would have liked to see another type of tight end. But when you look at what they needed, they needed some pass rush. They needed some linebacker help. They got it. They, 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 they did um, check some boxes. There's just nothing overly sexy about it. I tell you what, at some point in this show, when we get some time, you got to tell me what you got against my boy Trayvon Walker. That's the third time you've said it, and I'm over it. Thank you, James. <laughs> to see all of the selections the Jaguars made in the 2022 NFL draft, just head to the sports section of firstcoastnews.com or pick up your cell phone. I know you got one, and check out the First Coast News app.